We're here in Skegness for So Festival 2023. It's a town that really needs this type of event. It's a town that's been really successful in hosting brilliant street theatre events. We love Skegness as a town, we love Mablethorpe as a town, and it will be a brilliant event. So I've never been to Skegness before and I was absolutely amazed. There's so much going on here. It's such a lively town. I absolutely love it. It's fun, it's busy, there's lots going on. It's beautiful and it feels like a vibrant, thriving seaside town and it has everything that you would expect, but it has so much life and the most dramatic fish and chip shops I've ever seen. Ah, oh, ladies and gentlemen. We're just, we're just waiting for a, a small artist to appear backstage, which is why I've suddenly appeared in the middle of the show. It's the first beginning of the show and there's been a few little hitches as you've noticed, but it is live entertainment. Are you enjoying it? Fantastic. I think, are we near? Uh, yeah, I've had an amazing day here uh, here today. There's been such a mixture. There's been three or four dance groups already who've just been incredible. We've had aerial performers. We've got two DJs doing a silent disco with a whole whole crowd of little kids and parents all booing away. Uh, and we've even had Jenna G, drag queen from Mablethorpe performing today. It's just been absolutely phenomenal. You walk around and talk to people. They're loving the event and to bring this level of high quality event to Skegness and the East Coast is simply brilliant. It's something that Magna Vita is really proud of. I think it's been quite successful in the sense that it's actually one of the festivals that have, that have managed to, to really come out and be in contact with the people who live here. The performances have been so varied, the moments have been so dramatic, the event's been so well organised and everybody's given us such a warm welcome. We're here in Mablethorpe this afternoon on, and to see so many people here, it's the third time we've been to the site and it's the largest crowd we had. And it's a local audience, it's not the tourists and that's really good and the people are seeing stuff which they wouldn't even know exists, let alone have experienced before, so that's great. We don't get a lot of things up here in Mablethorpe that are, are different, so to bring something like this where you get to witness people from different countries, different ethnic backgrounds, everything like that, is, it's a massive thing for Mablethorpe. Yeah, it's been really good. Um, I came to the Skeg one on Saturday as well. It's just nice seeing something a little bit different around here. It's something different compared to the normal events you have got. It, it, it's nice to come and see some artists and performances that you, you'd never think to go to, I think, normally. I've loved looking at all the culture and stuff. It's fairly like, inspiring to watch it all. It's amazing how much work has gone into it. It's fairly good. Traditionally, there's been a dearth of uh, this kind of cultural activity on, on, on the coast. And it's just about introducing people. People, it, it, it sounds weird, but sometimes people don't know what they're missing until until it's there and they go, oh, I wish I had wish this 10 years, 20 years ago. People think about culture as being elitist, maybe something for the few. It's actually really important. It's a really good tool for people. I think arts and culture allow people new languages to express their point of view. We, you know, we're taught and we learn in school in one way. We absorb things through social media, we absorb things through news and, and general background noise. But unless you give people different ways of articulating their emotions, their things that are important to them, then you you're not going to get out of that echo chamber and by going okay I came to Mablethorpe where I've never been before and I've just seen two women do an amazing aerial act or a whole farm full of people that gives me a new language it gives me new shared memories with the people around me what we're trying to do is bring brilliant international class arts arts that have been developed as well in the local community to our communities to show them what they can achieve and how important it is that they achieve it I think festivals in general are important because festivals are setting up a discussion in a way they are kind of open cultural forums. It's not a closed into institutions. It's a place where you can experiment a lot, do new stuff also. What we've tried to do, and it's a, it's a really visionary type of thing for, for the UK, is actually talk to our communities, ask them what they want, but also show them what they could have. They might not know everything, they might not have seen everything, but part of our job is to actually show them things and once they've seen it, do they like it? Are they inspired by it? And do they want it? 
and that's really, really important part of this year's SO Festival and the next two after this. I think it creates a sense of community and um, people enjoy getting together and it sparks up networking and people talking to people, so it's really fun. Lots of friends in the audience knowing, people knowing each other, it's been such a supportive kind of feeling for, yeah. for everybody else. For anything to be a success and to really be adopted by the community that you're delivering it to, you have to listen to what people tell you. and. Ultimately, they are here to be entertained. We serve our community and we have to listen to what they want to see. Unless you've got participants and community members at the heart of the planning, all you're doing is dropping a festival on top of them and going, here, have a go. And that doesn't have the same sense of belonging, it doesn't have the same sense of engagement, and it doesn't bring that same kind of core memory-making moments of magic as when you've got community members that have gone, I helped choose that, I helped put this up, I volunteered at that event, I saw all those kids' faces when that happened. Without that community engagement, you don't get the same quality of magic, and it's really important. I think if it was more, the community had more aware of it, then they could have the say in, obviously they know what's happening, which would then get the word out more and make it bigger. Right from the start, it should be a ground up kind of thing. It's kind of what, it's 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 people like Magda Vitae and, and the So Festival organisers coming together and saying, yeah, what do, you, what do you want to see? What kind of things are you interested in? But also giving suggestions as well, because sometimes you, you don't know what's out there. So it's great to have some pointers, but also to be part of that decision-making process. It's all about ownership from the local community. I think it's a democratic thing that it, for me, it's not interesting as an artistic director to come out and tell people what they have to see. As I said before, it's for me, a festival is really a discussion, a place where you meet other people. I think it's quite an interesting process and it's much different from a theatre institution or an art institution, an art gallery, it's, it's really something where you have the chance of, of uh, being in, in, in eye height with the, with, with the local communities. Well, our vision is to allow our communities to continue choosing what they want, sharing what they love um, and being part of the event as an intrinsic thing. You know, it's, it's great that they're here as the audience, but we want them to be part of it. We want them to perform. We want them to actually understand and be part of the decision-making process of what they see. Because if that happens, they will own the event, and then that will be really special.